When I step back and look at the skyline, I really get this sense of pride and sometimes it's like, really, is this what I'm doing? <laughs> It is just so humbling to know that you're having an impact on somewhere so significant as the city of Chicago. So I'm a design manager and a studio operations leader here at Genzer Chicago. I co-lead a studio of 35 people and we're focused on workplace design. We're really focused on the ever evolving office and what that means. We work with the best clients both in the United States but also around the world. I grew up in Dublin, Ireland. I always had an interest in architecture, so I completed an internship. But when I was trying to decide what avenue I wanted to go down, I had a conversation with the architect that I was shadowing at the time. And what he told me was that an architect will tell you how to get light into the building, and an architectural technologist will tell you how to keep the water out. So for me, that really kind of hit the practical side of things. I made that move to London to start my career at a really great residential firm. and made the move over to Gensler and there's no better place for anyone who's involved in architecture and design than to come to Chicago, the home of the skyscraper. So I mean the Chicago skyline is a who's who of the greatest and best design and construction of the last hundred years. The Willis Tower was really focused around reimagining a global icon. The bottom four floors were expanded right out to the sidewalks. What's really exciting and what you probably don't get from the outside is a sense of the scale on the inside. How we built out those restaurants, spaces for the public to enjoy. But we're also going three levels below as well, where we have our tourist experience and other spaces located down there too. So it's not just what you see above the ground going all the way up 110 stories, it's also all the levels below that really go into making a project. And in a similar way, we worked with Kin and Carta on their United States headquarters. Being a technology firm, they were very focused on making sure that they had lots of great communal spaces. We designed this beautiful reception when you step off the elevator lobby that has these mesh screens that allow you to see right through into the cafe space. BDO's office is located in the former IBM building right on the river, designed by Mies van der Rohe. We designed three full floors focused around reception spaces, focused on conference rooms and open office and cafe spaces. I remember studying this building in school. So having the opportunity to work on it and get to see that detail for me was something that just came alive from when I moved here and landed in the city. This building, although it may not look like much, has always jumped out to me as something that's always been very, very exciting and something that's historically so significant in the city of Chicago. Architectural technology is globally recognized discipline. It's allowed me to be really successful here in the United States and those base skills that I have built from my time studying and also practicing have really allowed me to be successful on the projects that I work on. I think for me, growing up in Dublin and studying in Dublin, I probably didn't imagine myself ending up here in Chicago. To get to work on the skyline or to get to work with some of these buildings, it's all about legacy. It's legacy of the city and what that means and the significance of it, both in the United States, but on a global scale too. And for me to have any impact on that at all is something that's very, very humbling.